So I've been doing a research on testosterone, how it affects your brain, your body, your performance, etc, etc. And I think a couple of months ago, I came across this guy. His name is Andrew Huberman. I've never heard about this guy, but he basically has pretty legit sources and maybe even research. So he has a lot of material online. Probably you've seen it on YouTube. And I've seen one of his videos. Unfortunately, I can't be showing you the video because of the copyright issues, but I made some notes and I've basically made the same type of notes based on what he said. So in a way, I'm gonna be quoting him from time to time. One of the quickest ways to increase testosterone is to have somebody achieve any type of small wins. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a champion or if you're just a regular simple dude who's doing any type of, I don't know, challenges or body transformation, or maybe you got a job, maybe something good happened in your life. Testosterone increases when you are triumphant in something. So it's an example, if you play sports or if you are a boxer or if you are a volleyball player and you're winning, that basically increases your testosterone because you're in a way dominating the squad in a way dominating the performance and the game and it makes you feel as more high value or high status person at the time right so in a way it's no wonder that winning and outperforming everyone increases your testosterone and even if you're winning small it could be tiny steps it still adds up to your tally and you're still stacking up on wins so we're gonna come back to this later but another interesting point that he mentioned is that repeated failures decrease your testosterone so it's no wonder when you're basically failing and losing and i don't know maybe you're losing your job maybe money relationship anything like that it obviously affects your confidence it obviously affects your self-esteem and charisma and you decrease your testosterone now another thing that he mentioned is that one of the indications that you have enough tea or maybe a lot of testosterone is that effort feels good you basically want to have suffering in your life sounds dramatic but in a way suffering like sucking it up and working out like a couple times a week or maybe i don't know running a marathon preparing for something like that it in a way sucks right so if you are able to embrace or if you're willing to embrace that suck and if you're willing to embrace that suffering that means that you have enough testosterone because you know that on the other side of the river right on the other side of the coin there's gonna be a triumphant version of you. You're gonna be winning. So in a way, having more testosterone also means that you are okay with where you're going in your life. You're okay with the direction that you're following. He also mentions a couple of herbs like Tonga Ali and Fadogia Agrestis, no clue. And also zinc, vitamin D, magnesium, and creatine. Now, creatine is a very interesting point here to discuss because magnesium, zinc, they're not really fitness type of terms. Creatine is probably one of the most researched supplement out there and probably the safest for you to be supplementing your daily diet with. Creatine basically helps you with muscle recovery, muscle building and performance. So I think five grams a day is gonna be the sweet sweet spot for you to um, consume creatine. I never do, but hey, you can do if you want to increase your testosterone, why not? Okay, another one is abstinence or SEX without ejaculation. Basically increases your testosterone by 400% supposedly i don't know how accurate that is but supposedly there's been some research and studies and they have confirmed this but hey if this is true now i understand why a lot of people are on semen retention and monk mode and this type of stuff now supplements are cool but i just wanted to mention or maybe talk more about small wins achieving small wins which can in return increase your testosterone and that's really really important because when you set a goal for yourself you basically think about you know i want to for example lose fat or build muscle and you think about getting huge results but as a result you don't really end up where you want it to be just because you start very big you start with huge expectations and then when you don't reach those expectations when you cannot actually see the results in the mirror you get disappointed and discouraged instead of that when you get small wins that's when you actually start increasing your testosterone but forget about tea Let's talk about your habits. Let's, let's talk about your discipline, your desire, motivation to actually do those stuff. So I've read this one in a book called Atomic Habits and you can basically find many interesting stuff about how to build habits, how to be successful in them. The author describes that you have to be putting very small, even tiny habits for a day and then see if they actually are gonna be beneficial to you. So for example, instead of setting a goal to read one book a week, which is an overkill for many people, you can just seriously, without any jokes, put a goal for yourself for today to read five minutes and that's it. What's gonna happen is you can read five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow, five minutes the day after tomorrow, because let's be honest, five minutes ain't nothing, right? So when you start seeing this type of small results or small goals, you build a very important muscle and that muscle is gonna be consistency. Because without consistency, 
let me tell you guys, you are not gonna reach anything major in your life. That was probably one of the biggest lessons that I've learned in 2022. I was starting a lot of things before I was, you know, I had this inspiration, motivation and goals and stuff like that. But without consistency, you are not gonna go anywhere. I can paraphrase it in other words. Um, you can show up one day, for example, today, right? Work for five minutes and tomorrow you can work for five minutes. That's already two days of being consistent. On the contrary, you could work for five hours today and then you just forget about this one project that you took up you only worked for one day it doesn't really add up to your tally it doesn't really make you consistent and persistent over time one of the most important skills that you can possibly learn especially as a man is to embrace the fact that sometimes your life is gonna suck and look it might sound dramatic but I don't mean it in a dramatic way I mean you took on boxing lessons and you show up today because you feel inspired but what about tomorrow? What if you feel like shit tomorrow? What, what, what if you feel uninspired and unmotivated tomorrow? Are you gonna show up or are you gonna let your feelings do the decisions for you? That's the most important thing because the truth is life's gonna get in the way of your projects, of your ideas, but if you're not gonna be able to stick to any of them over a long period of time, how do you actually expect yourself to show up and bring results? When you are actually getting small wins, you're more confident about yourself, you're more persistent, you have more self-esteem and that's actually what builds testosterone. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's gonna be to make very small goals, but try to be consistent. Being consistent is way more valuable. It has way more ROI, which is return on investment, than just being a hardworking person who works whenever he has sparks of inspiration. I would wager that working for small amounts of time each day is way more important than just bursting off sometime for five hours straight and then just forgetting about your task for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week, for the rest of the month. That's it, gentlemen. Get small wins, be consistent, like this video and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.